I've, I've tweeted a link to a talk by David White uh, ma on materiality and embodiment and I, I think this should be in background for the Tech Exeter conference and any discussions about um, learning in a building or online. It's from, from it was a, a con congress I think in Denmark uh, does it say here? No, I can't see can't see where, but look look it's on it's on Vimeo. So you can you can download it. LNO two Congress keynote David White. The thing is it's twelfth of May twenty twenty two and I think the approach to moving online has gone has gone backwards. In in some ways the the whole idea of the the campus has has sort of gone back to normal in a, in a lot of ways so some of these talks from previously are a way of tracking what the thought was during lockdown and whether that's actually valid at some point in the future but not quite sure when whereas mm, previous ideas might be might be m making more sense at the moment something like that anyway there's probably more recent talks but i thought that was quite a good one just to track in what was what has already happened the other thing part of the the conference the tech extra conference is organized by tech for good and I've twi tweeted a link to their website, and you can find them on YouTube. But some of their videos, see, I can't find it anymore. I'm not sure if they've hidden it or put it somewhere else. But they they did have d video from long ago, including a advice on how to do Zoom calls and um, how to move your your work online. I think it was published sort of during the crisis phase. But I thought it was I thought it was very interesting. Again, it's probably three or four years old now, but it showed a point of view or a set of possibilities that existed at, at a certain point. And again, I think some of that still exists. So I I don't if I I can't f I can't find it at the moment anyway. But it's one of those things might turn up again. I. I I think if um, if that can't be found, maybe there's other things, examples of of uh, what what has happened because it's been a it's been a very uh, up and down period of time for tech possibilities, the reputation of the MOOC, for example, um, at one point. There was a load of investment into it, um, so much so that Harvard and MIT decided to get out of it because there was so so, ma so much money to keep up with. So they sold edX for eight hundred million dollars. Pretty sure that was the price paid by two U. But then later, the assumption is that. Um, everything's back to normal the, the MOOC is not going to flourish and um, two years just come out of a bankruptcy procedure or I don't think it's technically a bankruptcy but it's, it's a pretty extreme financial circumstance so that's a sort of up and down thing um, but the apparent explanation is that AI companies are assumed to be likely to offer something in education or students will deal with them directly and find all the material and support they need somehow that that doesn't make a lot of sense to academics but the investors seem to think that way don't know anyway the, all these things are in background for the um Tech Extra Conference and through through January 
bet uh, and uh, head by bet and so forth. So we'll see. We'll see what happens to all, all of those.